So I wish this iPhone was a bit bigger so you could see my face and my leg. You know, you have to imagine I'm walking around the studio, but I've got legs and I've got face as well. So here you are. This is uh, where we can uh, do plumbing, boiling water, as John Nathan would say. Capillaries. Little bit of painting, mess, oil. Yeah, grandma working on uh, improving granddad's painting. She comes in when I don't. And here we try to stay and feel connected. So this you are in the in the little dark room, which I can close and used to project thing as well and you're going down a tiny door that you can see here and coming inside the second room where the brain starts to work I'll take you up here we are so um, here we're working on a series of little paintings around this means learning a new language, de-learning, relearning. What does this mean? And this. Here, a few teapots from grandma's, which I left here. She didn't want to pick them up. I keep asking her to come and get them, but she didn't want. Here, a few things hidden under the carpet. But we ran in because grandma was hiding quite a lot under the carpet. Smells. Books. Silence. Quiet. The mind, the brain, the little brain, the pixels. Zero one. A few of grandma's tapestries. Brain. <coughs> Cooling systems. To keep cool. <coughs> what does this mean? What does this mean? Timelines, time, pigeons, printing machines. Isidore and I typing this is it that's what we've been doing grandma comes in when she can and this is me here Relearning, de-learning, re-centering.